Josh, what are you doing? Josh, what are you doing? Josh, what are you doing? Jesus, Andy. Calm down. Have a beer. Cheers. What are we doing? We shouldn't be here. Did you hear that? Don't be such a pussy, Andy. Hi guys, welcome, come on in. Let's all go see Santa. Where's Santa? I see Santa. So what's your name? My name is Donnie. Well, Donnie, what could Santa Claus get you for Christmas this year? I'd really like to get the game Black Ops 3. Mm. That's some sort of computer game, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Why don't you give your thumbs a break? How about getting outside? How about a nice baseball? Or a basketball? Or a football? Something like that? I hate playing outside. It's boring. Or how about a, a little puppy dog? Or a little furry kitten? Learn some responsibility. I hate dogs and cats. They're all ugly and smell bad. Well, you know, Donnie, you don't always get what you want for Christmas. Santa sometimes brings you what you need. Ow! You're a fake. Hey, come back here. What's your last name? Baker with a B. Hi. I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming in and doing this for the kids. It really means so much to them. Absolutely. Anything for the little children. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too, sir. Look at her. You're going to sit with Mads, okay, We're buddy? just going to look at them. Don't hide, though. Look at Sam. We're going to look up and smile and say, cheesy weezy. Look, does Sam what you want for Christmas?
any reception on that thing yet? Nothing. This is it, though. Hey, listen. I know he hasn't seen anybody in a very long time, so I'm not sure how he's going to take us being here. So do me a favor. Don't touch anything, okay? Yes, sir. I saw them walking along the tree line. I wanted to make sure there was nothing going on. Thanks, Monk. What are you doing here, Dave? It's happening again. What's happening? The missing children. The missing children? Are you kidding me? That's what he does. That's what he's always done. That will always happen. It's different this time, Jeremy. It's happening way earlier and it's way more intense. And what does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with me, huh? You're the only one that's gotten close to him your help. No! We never found her, Jeremy. We never found your daughter. You leave her out of this, and what the hell does she have to do with anything? We found signs of her. Signs? Who the fuck is this? Jeremy, we need your help. And if you don't want to come back with me, at least point me in the right direction where we can start looking for this thing. Because we're out of options. Gill in on this? And so is Harry. I'll go. If that's what it takes.
I'm on the scene at the Edinburgh Police Station, where citizens gathered earlier today to address their concerns about the police's attempt to apprehend the person responsible for the recent string of missing children. Officers Paul Sharp and lead investigator Dave Kane briefly addressed the crowd. The media has been advised to refrain from photography this time. It has also been rumored that former officer Jeremy Duffin has been brought in to help assist police in the apprehending of the person or persons responsible for the missing children. What about my niece? Listen, listen, listen. We're doing the best we can right That's now. That's bullshit! Okay? Captain Fairby will be holding a press conference tomorrow morning. I suggest that you are all there. We have a lot of good information that's come from fruition that we'll be sure to pass on. That's all I got to say right now. Where's my son? Hey, 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 Jeremy Duffin is the police officer whose wife was murdered and daughter went missing almost five years ago to date. We will have more in the story as the day progresses. This is Rob Sanderson with Channel 5 News signing out. Donnie, it's time for bed. Hey, did you hear me? Hey. Do you hear me? I'm gonna take that thing away from you for about a week. All right, that's it. Butt in bed, now. Go to bed. I'll be up to checking you in a second. Mom? Mom, I think there's something under my bed. There is nothing under your bed.
Amy. Somebody help. Amy. You have Amy. To help What's me. going on? What's going Please, on? You have to help What's going on? God, he's gone. I, I heard you. God, he's house. gone. The house. thing got him. That thing what, fucking what got thing? him. All right, we, let's, let's go inside. Help me. No, help I'm going to get my shotgun. No, 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 we can't. No, we can't. We can't. We can't. Let's go inside and call the police. That's the only thing that's going to help him. Let's call the police. Let's call the police. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's with all those people? That's an everyday occurrence around here now. Paul, can you help me with this? I'll give you a call if we need you for anything. Paul. You got it. Any problems? No, not really, but I see our crowd outside hasn't gotten any smaller. Jeremy! Hey, how are you? you too. You look great. How have you been? Good. Harry? <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy? Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Good to see you, Harry. Good to see you, Captain. Yeah. Uh, Captain, hey, uh, this is uh, Monk. Very good friend of mine. Nice He's to meet you. Me out the Jeremy's last told me a lot about you. It's nice to meet you. Um, uh, this is Lori. Lori Taylor from Buffalo Beach. Oh, hi. <laughs> Gil's told me lots of nice things about you. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, you and I, we, um... What? We both have children that were taken. Right. We've both been, um, trying to hunt this thing. I'm sorry. It's okay. My child, he was taken about the same time as yours, actually. I mean, I was right there at home. I mean, I was there, right there when it happened. Me too. I was there when he took my daughter, and, uh... I heard him. I'm so sorry. Captain. What? It's Donnie Baker. He's missing. Get an officer at the house, but Amy's asking specifically for you. Jesus Christ. Is she still at the house? Yes, sir. Let's go. Come on, boys. We're going for a run. Come on. Hey, my little tart. You want to hear some Christmas music? Come on, sure you do.
How we get a little Christmas picture of you? Santa, I'm not gonna tell you my name. I'm not gonna read your fucking letter. What I got here. Dear Mr. Claus. Actually, it's Mr. Kringle. Whatever. I would like to have a brand shiny new bicycle for Christmas this year. Well, we'll see about that. His name's not on the list. He'll probably get a real bike this year. But you... Thanks, brother. Hard to see without my glasses on. You, Donnie, you are all on this list. Right here. You remember this? Yeah, that's right. That was me. That's not why you're on this list either. No, the reason you're on this list is because what you did to the Johnson kid. I'm... I, 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 you, I what? I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're a waste of breath is what you are. Hell probably doing society a favor. Ten years from now, they won't even miss you. Sorry, kid, but you brought this on yourself. halfway with you today, is there? You string up another one. Brother, you're gonna like this. You're bringing Jeremy Duffin back. <laughs> hey, little Donnie. This is going to be fun. What a very productive week this is going to be. Yep. Everything's coming together.
did you find? Tethers, Gil. Are you sure? Yeah, it's the one she had when she went missing that day, when he took her. It doesn't surprise me, it doesn't surprise me. What do you mean? We found some other stuff of hers. A cell phone, slippers. I don't understand. She's the only body we didn't find. What? She could still be alive. What are you saying? You think she's alive? I hope so. We'll find them. aren't going to believe who I just saw. Who? Well, spit it out, TJ. Jeremy Duffin. Where? The police station. I was driving through town. I saw some commotion. Decided to check it out. Did they see you? Absolutely not. Wait, who is Jeremy Duffin? Jeremy was the pig that killed his brother. It's probably back because of all the missing kids. Yeah, no doubt. What do the missing kids have to do with anything? This former cop believes that there's some kind of monster taking the children. Whatever, I could give a shit. Are you okay? My brother Brian, God rest his soul, had an unfortunate encounter with Officer Jeremy Duffin. He's the cop that put him away. Somehow, while he was out on parole, my brother ended up at this cop's house and the cop shot him dead. He claimed self-defense and that was the end of it. Case closed. Well, well, I want payback. I want his punk ass to suffer. I want his death to be slow and painful. But the timing has to be just right. It's an advantage having him here. It means there'll be more open space for us to do our work in. Who was he with? The police captain and that other guy, the old bartender. Harry. Ten to one, they'll end up at the bar across the street from Harry's old place. That's where all the cops hang out now. Go check things out. Take Trevor and Natasha with you. Do you want us to get Jeremy? If possible. Otherwise, figure out a way to lure him. And take him where? Some place secluded. I want to have a serious heart-to-heart -heart with that son of a bitch and not worry about cops showing up. The old Kelly house off of 322. I don't think anybody's been there in years. Great idea. The hunt is on. Alive! I want him alive! You got it. TJ. Sir. I'm putting you in charge of this. Don't fuck it up. And make sure my girl stays safe. Capiche? Understood.
Hey! Hey. What? We got a job to do. You're being reckless. You're leaving yourself too exposed. This list. See this shit here? This little Adam Philibon? He beat up a kid over his lunch money. I know it's not all that big of a deal, but still. He needs to be punished. He also kicked a dog. You know how I feel about animals. I know. There's a lot of other kids too, and not just here. We got a lot of ground to cover and a little bit of time. But this place. This place harbors some shit, doesn't it? I don't want you to be mad about this Duffin thing. We'll get to him when we get time. Do you understand? No more of this rogue shit. These two little shits come first, and I hate to tell you, there's a lot of kids that need punished around here. Why do you think we're in this shit weather so early? I'd much rather be in the Caribbean. How's the girl? Is she okay? Yes. She's gonna be good for us. She's gonna help us out in the long run. Now get your horns on straight. Let's get ahead of the game here. Get ahead of schedule. That way we can take care of Duffin. Years, I just, I just don't understand how, how that could be possible. That bracelet. That bracelet would be new. That bracelet didn't look old. That, that bracelet was out there for five years. It would have been tarnished. It would have been. That doesn't make any sense. It's, it's her bracelet, Gil. You know. He's got her. You gotta find her. Find her. All right, Gil. All right, buddy. We're gonna meet back at the bar. Yep. Okay? All right, thanks, Gil. All right. Hey, kid. Yeah. You ready to come back to society? Heather, if you're alive, I'll find you.
poor lady. Amy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can't have another Amy, okay? I'm a mom. I know exactly how she feels. I'm starting to think that this thing's tracking everybody that either has a child in the police force or knows somebody in the police force. It's tracking the whole town. I mean, that's all that's happening. we got to put it into it. Donnie's got to be the last kid. I agree. Well, there's only one way to find anything out. Hey, this golden boy. Yeah. Hey, guys. It's gone. Look at you. I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the Jeremy I remember. It's good to be back. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, let me get you a drink. What would yes. you like? Whiskey on the rocks. Oh, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Great. Come on, sit down. There's still monk seat. Hey, where's Gil? Oh, he dropped me off at the hotel and I uh, had to go back and talk to the woman with the missing kid. Uh, I don't know what poor lady was just talking about. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, listen. Seriously, I am sorry for bringing you back under these circumstances. Man, this place brings back memories. <laughs> what made you sell this place, Harry? Assholes. Dealing with drunken assholes. <laughs> We've been gone for five years. You know, lots changed. The place has turned to shit. The whole town. Crime is the business at hand now. So, uh, Gil asked uh, if I could come back and give him a hand. I know the community, know the people, and you know, knew how to deal with it. And we got a missing kid problem. Yeah. Yeah? You can't catch him. And if you do, look what happens. Look what happened to my family. Jeremy, Jeremy I... Uh... You can't kill him, Harry. This is what he does. This is what he's always done. And then he does it all again. Jeremy, I understand you're frustrated. I really do. What if we catch him? Like, really catch him and contain him. So he can't do this anymore. Just, it'll make it all stop. I don't know. Maybe. We can't give up, all right? We can't. It's happening sooner. There's never been reoccurrences like this in the past. It's way more erratic and he's taking way more children. All right, do you guys have any idea why? We got some theories. Maybe uh, his powers are dwindling. Maybe he's dying. He's reaching. What about this? Where'd you get that? This. Mm -hmm. This. Is she still alive? Jeremy, we never found anything from your daughter. Anything. We found a body part from every other missing child except her. Jeremy. Go talk to him. Jeremy. Hey. Don't give up. Like my son, he's dead and buried, but your daughter, she could still be out there. So don't give up. Here. I can't believe they're actually here. You know, this looks almost too easy. Natasha, stay here. You're joking. No. Stuart was pretty adamant about us being on point here. You would not believe the maintenance of it versus freshwater aquariums. guy who finally could totally relate to my farting turtles. And I just knew that you are my... Uh, 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 okay. Fuck you. Go for a ride, boy! Tough guy, huh? Shut up. What the fuck's going on now? Got him on possession, got him on assault. Enough, get him in the fucking car. Get him in the fucking car! Oh, you guys are so tough.
in five years. I come back for one day and that fucking Brian Hat guy comes back to haunt me. Where'd Lori go? I think she went to the bathroom. I have... Nah, she never came back in. She must have jumped in with Gil. Oh, hey. You tackled that shithead? He dropped his keys. Let's finish these up and go check his car out and see what we can find. Salute. Let's drop you. Miss Piggy. This is it. Left his cell phone. It's like two hours away. You call the captain. Gil, it's Jeremy. Hey, that guy you just took in? He left his keys there. We found a uh, cell phone. It said take him to the to the Kelly house. You know where that is? Yeah. No, I thought she was with you. All right, we got to get out there. How long it take you to get ready? Mm, two hours is too long. We go right now. All right, see you there. All right, let's go, man. Right, Jump let's in. Go. Fuck! What's up, boss? Trevor is in jail and Natasha's MIA. What about TJ? <sighs> Baby, where are you? You all right? Okay, good. Yes, I know. You did? Really? Very cool. You bet. Okay. See you in a minute. That was Natasha. She's on her way here with the lady cop. Well? We went in to get Jeremy in. And did you? No. No, no that's right. You didn't. And where is Trevor? Well, some big ass mountain dude come barreling at me. That's not what I asked. Trevor is in jail, and I was lucky to get away. Right, right. You must be tired. Please, take a seat. Where is she? In the car. Secure? She ain't going anywhere. Please, have a seat. What do you want me to do, boss? So, let me get this straight. We finally get a lead to Jeremy Duffin, the man who murdered my brother. I send who I thought were the best men for the job, 
But obviously, I was mistaken. Boss, I can explain. You pathetic piece of shit! You left Natasha! Let me explain. I had one request, do you remember? Yes. I asked you to look after her, TJ. One simple little request. I, 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 you scumbag motherfucker! No, I didn't have one in the pipe. Well, Rick, I didn't! Jesus I need no man! No man has ever left me but my dad. Oh, fuck, baby! Where the hell do you think you're going? The girl? In the car? All right then. Grab your gear. We're taking a ride. I've got a feeling we'll get to see my brother's killer tonight. Is everything okay? I can't believe this is real. I just can't wrap my head around this. I wish you didn't have to. This is not where we're gonna find Lori. This is where we're gonna find your monster.
Isn't our daughter beautiful? I should leave his ass out here to freeze, but that'd be too fucking easy. Cut him down and bring his ass inside. You go get the pork chops in the car. Hey, Jeremy. You busy? Oh. Oh. How's it hanging? Oh, she's... Oh. Oh. One of your friends? Oh. Oh, oh Monk. Oh. Don't worry. Oh. He looks so much better oh. than him. Oh. What do you say we get you oh. down, huh? Oh. Shit. He died five years ago today. Guess what? Your brother's here to celebrate the anniversary. He fucking kill me. Go ahead, kill me. Well, we will. First, we play. Let's go! Cabin You know what? You've been naughty. Shut up! Oh! Come on! I don't have all day. Let's go! That way! Let's go! Come on! Faster! They got him. Yeah, Lori too. Do it. Had his whole crew. Shit. Okay, gather up. Gather up. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's get around that side of the house. Gotcha, boss. Should I call for backup? What? Oh Just go around God. that side of the house. It's busting my fucking ball. Just shut up and go. Christmas has come early this year. <laughs> this will do fine. That's some Rambo shit right there. Take your shirt off. I want to finish this while it's still my brother's anniversary. <laughs> Man, you into some crazy shit. Number eight, you a NASCAR fan? Well, gentlemen, start your motherfucking end! Ah! Ah! So I'm curious. What's your new girlfriend? Uh, 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 uh. Get off her and let's get on with this. <laughs> Rock and roll, boys. It's time to rock and roll. This party's just beginning. Uh.
baby. You. You all right, son? Looks like all hell broke loose in here. And they left you to tell the story. Why? Why me? We're all fucking dead. All of them. Well, we can't do anything about that now. It's almost Christmas Eve. But I'm feeling awful gracious this year. I think I'm going to grant you a wish for Christmas. What's your uh, wish, Jeremy? Uh, for Christmas this year. I just want all the pain to stop. All the killing. I just want a normal life. Well, I hope you've been a very good boy, Jeremy. Because that's a very tall order. Remember what you did to that little girl's no. Julie? Come what? on, think about it. You remember. What? Oh, no. No. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. Yeah, you get the picture, don't you? Please forgive me. I've never been able to. That little girl, her mother, her mother and I, well, let's just say, we were pretty close. Jeremy, that little girl you killed, that was my daughter. Her mother's never been able to forgive herself. She died. She overdosed on pills, Jeremy. That was my family. Mine. It's a good thing I'm not a vengeful person. Doesn't go well with the job, you know what I mean? Now my brother, I leave that up to him. He knows vengeance. Krampus? Oh, now you're catching on, Jeremy. Right. You motherfucker. All these people, oh, they all trust you. They believe in you. Do you ever wonder how one person could have so much bad luck? Just when you think it's getting worse, it gets worse, and you fall into one bucket of shit after another? Do you ever think about that, Jeremy? You son of a bitch. All these people have their faith in you all these years, believing in you, you piece of shit. You think I wanted any of this shit? You morals make up fairy tales about me to justify your own miserable existence. I have no measure of my actions. I'm a fucking god. You think of me as how you want me to be, not as who I actually am. And you dare question my actions. You are no god. You're as bad as the kids you and your brother punish. Say, Jeremy. You can't do anything to me anymore. You did your worst when you took my wife and daughter. There's nothing left to take anymore. You've taken it all. Christmas is about giving, Jeremy. You haven't received your present yet. You want your family back? <laughs> Hell, you already had your daughter. Remember? Think about it. You understand this sign here? It's not an eight, dumbass. It's infinity. Infinity. It means forever and ever. That torture of yours is gonna last forever. It was real? Yeah, just think about it. You're gonna be a grandfather and a father. That's a hell of a feat. It reminds me of some of those families I deal with down south. <laughs> Who really says there's no Christmas miracle? Hey Santa! Fuck you! Really, Jeremy? You really think that's gonna work? I didn't think so. Yeah? But this will.
Have a Merry Christmas. See you soon, Jeremy. Very soon.